Hello friends, my name is Chetan Vadaria and today we are going to solve NCRT chapter number 14 statistic exercise number 14.1 question number 3 and then question number 4 and then question number 5. So let us start without wasting much time. The following distribution shows the daily pocket allowance of children of a locality. The main pocket allowance is rupees 18. Find the missing frequency F. So already they had given us mean. And now we need to find out a missing frequency in this one. So let us start by simple direct method only. We are going to solve this because this terms are very small and that will be easy for us. So first of all for finding mean what we need to do first step is always finding the class mark or we call that midpoint. Midpoint of class that will be our x i. So midpoint of 11 and 13 is 12 directly we can say then midpoint of this will be 14, midpoint of this will be 16 and then 18 midpoint then 20 and then 22 and midpoint of 23 and this will be 24. Now simple fi x a. This is the base method direct method of mean we can say 12 into 7, 7 to 14 carry 1 84. 6 4 the 24 and again this is also 84 9 6 the 54 5 kd 144 and this 13 into 18 will give you 234 f into 20 i'm going to write this 20 f in this side why because this are unlike terms and we cannot add this so by mistake many times students add this that's why i'm writing inside now this 55 into sorry 5 into 22 0 carry 1 1 1 0 4 4 the 16 carry 1 96 now we need to add this so at last plus 20 f sorry now here we need to add this 10 and 20 18 19 22 2 year carry 2 so 18 19 20 21 22 25, 26, 26, uh, 26 plus 4, 30 and 35, 3 carry. So 3 plus 1, 4, 5, 6, 7. 752, this will be your summation of FIXI. And now you need sum of FI also. But they had, I think, not given you anything in the question. Now we need to add only. So 6 and 6 12 and 13 and 13 and 3 16 16 plus 20 25 25 plus 5 30 34 3 carry 3 plus 44 and plus 1 f is also here this f frequency so 44 plus f is your summation of fi now we are having our formula direct method that is x bar is equals to sum of fi xi or sigma fi xi upon sum of fi now we are already having mean so we are going to keep it here equals to 752 plus 20f upon upon 44 plus f. Now we need to multiply this. So if you will multiply this 18 for the 36 plus 36 72 7 kd 79 so 792 plus 18f is equals to 752 plus 20f now take this term with f on one side so what will happen 792 minus take this 752 on this side and take this 20f and 18 on that side so minus 18f so you will get here 40 equals to 2f so 40 by 2 equals to f so f will be 20 guys so this way we can solve this guys again okay, missing frequency f will be equals to 20 okay guys if you like this please subscribe now only we are going to solve question number three and four also but guys if you like this and for more such videos subscribe my channel and moving towards question number four NCRT chapter number 14 statistic exercise 14.1 question number four 30 women were examined in a hospital by a doctor and the number of heartbeats 
per minutes were recorded and summarized as follow find the mean heartbeats per minute of the of this woman using or choosing a suitable method so please keep this in mind either direct or assume step deviation method is removed by board this year but i think after few years they can start i had made separate videos for that also you can search step deviation by galaxy you will get my video now class and frequency is given so first thing is to find out the class mark so here if you don't know directly we cannot find out the median then what or midpoint what we need to do we need to add them and divide by 2 let me do it here 65 plus 68 divide by 2 so 13 carry 1 133 by 2 so you will get 6 or 12 6 or 12 and 0.5 so here you will get 66.5 as your midpoint similarly you can see here also directly i'm going to do if you don't know you can use this method or directly you will get a pattern if you will use that pattern then also that will be okay you can see i am doing directly just add 1.5 that will help you 81.5 and here 84 now look here here the numbers are big and if you will di use direct method fi into xi your calculation will be very much lengthy so here we are going to make it little bit small small by using a short method that is assumed mean method by finding di how you can find out di di by subtracting xi minus a assume mean now here you can see seven terms are there generally we are going to select middle term as your a assume mean if even numbers are there you can select any third or fourth but here odd numbers are there directly the middle as your a and now subtract 66.5 let me tell you you can start from here also zero now if you will subtract this you will get minus three then minus six and minus nine and in denominator you will get three six and nine so this is finding di and this method is called assume mean method now gen you need to multiply fi into d come on nine twos are minus 18 now 6 4 is minus 24, 3 3 is minus 9, you can see 8 0 is 0, you can see how, how numbers are small and directly you can multiply, if you, you are going to use direct method then that calculation um, was I think very much bigger than this, so use this 7 3 is 21, 6 4 is 24 and 9 2 is 18. Now you need to add them, but first of all, you can see this, I can directly cancel and 18 and minus 18 and plus 18 also directly we can cancel. Now we are 21 minus 9, so that will be 12. So your summation of FIDI, now our formula for finding mean by assuming this A plus sigma FIDI or summation of FIDI upon FI, sum of FI. Now A, A was 75.5 plus 20, 12, sorry, FIDI is 12, you can see here. And what is our FI, we had not still find out, but I think the 30, 30 women were examined. So our frequency will be 30 only, you can check by addition. Now keep it here, 30, so I think 6, 2 is a, 6, 5 is a. Again, if you will cancel, 0 0.4 will be the answer. So, so your sum of this will be 75.5 plus 0 0.4 will give you 75.9. So, this will be your mean. So, this way guys, you can find, okay, moving towards next question. Question number 5, NCRT, chapter number 4, statistic exercise number 14.1 question number 5 in a retail market fruit vendors were selling mangoes kept in packing boxes this boxes contain varying number of mangoes the following was the distribution of mangoes according to the number of boxes this is the distribution and you need to find out the mean by suitable method that i had not written here but you need to find out so this is your class and this is your frequency 
you can understand by the term itself that which method will be easier okay let me find out first of all the class mark that is midpoint here easily 51 54 here the data are not continuous you can see but for mean no need of making it continuous only in median and mod you need to make this data continuous but here no need of making this data continuous okay now 57 and then 60 and then 63 again you can see if you will multiply these numbers are very big to reduce that we need to suppose any one term as a and find out di di is equals to xi minus a so if you will subtract this here 70 57 minus 57 0 57 minus the minus 3 minus 6 and here this will be 3 and this will be positive 6. Now directly you need to multiply and find out fi di. So multiply 15 6 minus 90. Now here also you need to multiply. So I think 3 3 0 but negative 3 3 0. And 135 into 0 will give you 0. 115 into 3. 3 5 is a 15 carry 1 3 1 is a 4 and 3 1 is a 3. 345. And here 25 6 are, I know directly 25 6 is 150. So now you need to add this. You can see here negative and this positive. So let me add this 0, 9, 10, 11, 12, carry 1, minus 420. And here you will get plus 495. So if you will subtract this 5 minus 0, 5 sorry, 9 minus 2, 7. Positive 75 will be your FID. Okay, you can see how easily we had done this with assume mean method. So always try to use, if numbers are big, use assume mean method. Now our formula x bar is equals to a plus summation of FIDI upon sum of FI. So a is 57 plus positive 75 by FI. So this is the sum. So they had not submitted any sum. So let me add this 5 and 5, 10 and 15, 20, 0, 2 carry. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Again 0 carry 1, 2, 3, 4, 400. So here you need to keep 400. Now you can cancel this by 5 first of all. 5, 1s are 5 and 2015 and here 5 into 80 i think okay again we can cancel with 5 5 threes are and 5 ones are 5 and 30 so 6 are now we cannot cancel this right so 57 point something here you will get in decimal 0 0.1 uh, and something like so approximately 57.1 to something whatever year you are getting let me divide and show you 3 16 0 point 1 is a 16 and here 4 and 1 140 so 16 and greater than 16 5 is a 80 96 and so something 8 nearby 8 so I am approximately taking 8 as so your answer is 57.8 approximately so this way guys you can find out the mean of question number 3, 4, 5 and CRT chapter number 14 exercise 14.1. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel guys. Thank you so much and share with your friends too guys. Thank you. All the students of India, USA, Canada, UK, Australia and other countries can join me for more videos.